Hey guys, it's Doc and today I'm going to talk to you about cleaning algae and mold off fences, houses, just about anything you got. A really simple way to do this that I've learned over the years. We've tested a bunch of different products and I'm going to show you something that just takes about 5 or 10 minutes and will solve all your problems. So hold on one second. Hey guys. Just so you understand, when we bought this house, everyone said, oh man, you're gonna have to replace that fence. Well, the fence was gray, green, <laughs> it's old. So what we did was we came out here, we cleaned the entire fence, we power washed it, and we stained it. And quite honestly, I mean, we did that, what, two and a half years ago? And the fence still looks pretty decent. And this is a huge fence. I mean, it's just, it just goes all the way around our backyard. At some point, I'll have to probably replace it because the idiots that installed it, they put regular four by fours into cement. When you do that, the posts rot. So every once in a while, I gotta go rescue the fence and install a new post. But at some point we'll replace it, but I think I probably got another year or two out of this fence. So I'm trying to maintain it before I go to that expense. But today I'm gonna to talk to you about a real simple way to get rid of, especially algae, but also mold and mildew that grows up. Before I do that, real quick, um, I did want to just give you an update yesterday I posted up a video with a lawn cheat sheet, fertilizer cheat sheet, that shows you that uses, instead of using soil temperatures at different times, it uses the daytime highs. So like when you see 60s all the time or you see 70s all the time, what am I need to put down? I went ahead and put that up. Also, it's real important to go to the website when you're, when I'm talking about these products, Someone, someone says, oh, oh, barricade. Yeah, I bought barricade. I said, well, did you buy the DG barricade that I have on the website? And they go, no. I said, well, that's kind of stupid because regular barricade granules don't work well. <laughs> they take a long time. They don't spread out enough. You need to get the DG version. So you go to the website, click on product links, look at the ones that I link. The other thing that's important is I try and keep it up to date. As an example, as of yesterday, E. Anderson's, um, I, I requested that they put the Barricade DG in some smaller bags in 18 pound bags versus the huge 50 pound bags. So they did that for me. So I put up a link to the new smaller bags of it. So it's real important when I talk about a product, come to the website, click on product links and look at that and see the update. Cause we go through every week and we try and keep that stuff updated and we link directly to the manufacturer, the best link that's on Amazon for that. That's just a quick tip. So before I get started on this, I want to talk about one myth that's out there. First of all, if you want to start a bar fight, start talking about pressure washing and using chemicals versus not chemicals and everything else. Let me explain a myth. One of the myths is that when you go out to clean your driveway, that your job is to go out there and kill all the mold spores. That's a complete myth. And why is that? It's because I discussed in one of my other videos about power washing, for every cubic yard of air that's around you outside, there is 50,000 to half a million mold spores in every cubic yard of air that passes you. Yes, it's infested with mold spores. So what does that mean? And that's the same with inside your house. It's lower inside your house, but there's mold spores all through the house. And, it, and it's really a safe level. I forget what the safe level is. It's like 20 or 30,000 mold spores per cubic, uh, per cubic yard of air. They don't even worry about it. They consider that safe. So what does that tell us? It tells us that going out and cleaning mold spores that are present on our surfaces doesn't do us a bit of good because 10 minutes later, hundreds of thousands of more mold spores are gonna come in contact with that. So what we do when we clean something, like a driveway we power wash, we actually take the food off. Mold and mildew cannot produce its own food. It lives off of carbohydrates. And what is carbohydrates? Dust, pollen, the stuff that just settles up. The stuff that settles on your driveway, that's carbohydrates. Example, cardboard boxes. Put cardboard boxes in your basement and they'll have mold grow because it's a carbohydrate. Algae is different. Algae can produce its own food because it's what? Because it's green, so it has chlorophyll inside of it. So it can actually produce its own food. It actually needs light. So you'll see green algae on surfaces that have light exposed to it. Algae cannot grow in a dark. So you won't find algae in your basement. You will find algae outside where there's sun, not direct sun's exposure usually, but just sun exposure. So that's the difference between mold and, and algae or mild, mold and mildew and algae. Mold and mildew, 
um, they have to have carbohydrates to survive. So our main goal when we power wash is to remove the carbohydrates as well as the existing mold and that way and that keeps the mold and mildew from growing back. So it's a myth that you're out there killing mold spores. If someone says that to you, they don't understand basic science, that you're out there killing mold spores. That's not true. But it is true that you can go out, especially with algae, you can use some, some kind of algicide or something that'll kill the algae and it'll kill it very quickly. And basically it turns from gray to, to dead. But we still have the carbohydrates on there, so we do want to clean it as well. But today I'm going to show you, I'm going to go back to this nasty corner I have over here. Uh, yesterday I came out here and did this treatment. I'm going to show you the footage from yesterday. This corner, there's pine trees all up in here. It's shaded, it always stays damp. So that's the perfect conditions for algae. It still gets some light and it's for mold as well too, for mold and mildew. So this is like the perfect corner. Now along this corner of fence, because I get a lot of shade over here, I also get a lot of uh, moss in the lawn. So we have to do moss treatments over here. But let me go ahead and show you um, a couple products. Now I use 30 second cleaner and I use home armor. I've used both those products in past videos and both are great products. Um, the 30 second cleaner, I think I probably like a little bit better just because I can use it on almost everything and I've found that it actually kills the algae as well too. And you can go to Lowe's or Home Depot and pick it up for $9 a gallon. Now the mixing ratio is typically a two to one, just so you know. So for one gallon of um, 30 second cleaner you can add you can add uh, more water to it but I actually use it less because the sprayer that I'm using oh it's probably like a five to one sprayer five to one spray ratio on the spray heads that I'm using so it is actually a little bit lower concentration now one of the misconceptions is a lot of people are gonna say I just use bleach well there is a difference um, one of the misconceptions if you go to the 30 second website 30 second cleaner website they explain it that it's a misconception that they just use household bleach in their cleaner it's not we've tested regular household bleach versus the 30 second and yes the 30 second does a better job at cleaning if you're cleaning it does a, it actually does a much better job of, of cleaning than just regular bleach alone you know, there's other things people say you can put copper sulfate, um, you can spray copper sulfates, those blue crystals, and we tested that. You can spray copper sulfate, it supposedly kills algae and prevents algae. It does okay. Your main goal is just to get rid of the stuff and to clean it. And you got to basically do it every single year. Matter of fact, I'll probably do, I got another power washing video coming because I got to power wash my driveway again this year. I had to spray all my eaves again this year. It's just regular maintenance. But this takes five minutes. So let me just go to the footage to show you what I was doing. It's that time of year again. Honey, you know that there's mold growing up on the side and on the house? Honey, do you know that there's green stuff all over the fence back there? <laughs> a lot of people don't realize it, but let's me zoom in here a little bit and let you see. See all that, uh, that little mold, sort of an algae, moldy kind of buildup that I get. Yeah, once a year, and it's usually in the shaded areas. It's not in the sunny areas. So uh, this ain't gonna take long, but I'm gonna be using the same product and I'm gonna show you what I've learned on my fence, which works really well. So you'll notice I have the enemy of Bermuda grass back here. I have trees. The sun comes across this way and that means that I'm gonna have moss back here, which I have to treat every year. And then all along my fence, and I keep seeing it in my video, I see all this green. Well, it's really bad over here, look at this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a simple little treatment that you can spray on there and just leave it on. Just spray it and leave it. And it'll magically kill that algae. It's not an algicide. I love the 30 second cleaner, but one of the problems with it is their bottle. It looks like it has a fan spray and a jet spray. The only problem is, is when you turn it to rinse that's when you can get the jet and when you turn it to clean that's when you get the fan spray so i can use this on my fence and i can use this on lower levels but i can't clean with the jet that's my only gripe about that so 30 second change your spray nozzle man so i actually went i like home armor as well <laughs> so i grabbed my home armor nozzle and see it has four different jets on it and then your on off and clean is right here so Buy yourself a bottle of the Home Armor. Home Armor works really well on this stuff, by the way. Now, I found that uh, 
The 30 second works better on killing the green algae on the fence, just spraying it and leaving it. So let me again try this. So the best way to use, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you an option, the home armor or the 30 second cleaner. The best way that I've found is spray it on using on the mist on the clean cycle, spray it on. Wait about two minutes or so, go back and spray it again, again with the detergent, okay? Then leave it on another two minutes, then go back and rinse it with the rinse cycle. Once you do that, it's good as new. Now I spray it on my windows. I spray it on if I have any anything that has green or mildew on it. Those uh, window ledges had some green. It's gone. But I just spray that on. I leave it for a few minutes, and now I'm going to go back and rinse it. Again, I'll rinse off my plants. Don't have any problem with it on the plants. So let me just rinse it. So uh, here's the finished result next day. Pure white, even though it's kind of hard to see. All done. And I mean, I do that. I did it on Barb's house last year. I did a video of it, doing it this year on this one. But every year I got to do it. Anywhere I have, the, the sunny sides of my house aren't going to get this. It's just the portions that are mainly covered over with shade. And that's kind of how algae works. Uh, if it's green, it's algae. If it's black and gray, then it's going to be mold or mildew. But algae likes light. It likes sunlight. It, has, it cannot survive in the dark, algae but it doesn't like direct sunlight because it dries out. So you'll get it on a side, on this side. Over here, the sun's coming this way. I get a lot of it here. Anywhere on the, anywhere you don't get direct sunlight, you'll see that algae build up. But you've also got mold and mildew. So let's go over and spray the fence, see what happens over there. That may take a couple days. Now I did do this, and the reason why I know this works, the back side of my fence looked like that green. It was solid green. I sprayed it. I came back about a week later, perfectly clean. Matter of fact, I may even go back there. I did it months ago. I may go back and take a look at it and see. Okay, so here's Hell's Corner. Let's put it on clean and let's try. So I've got it on clean. I've got it on the fan spray. Let's go spray the fan. Never up, never down, never. Like a theme in a song, clever. Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Feels so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine But I get up, I always do I never think, I always do Never thought I wouldn't jump, oh what a fool but if I Okay, so we're done with that treatment and now I want to show you the fence. I was actually kind of impressed because uh, I thought I'd have to leave it for a few days. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like the very next day I'm gonna show you. Let me grab the camera here. And you know it's the very next day because I was too lazy to roll up the hose. The hose is still sitting here. I gotta put the hose away. But I want you to look at the difference. Now that is amazing. <clears throat> it really is amazing. Now, if you notice, the tree is not so green either. <laughs> I actually sprayed some on the tree. This stuff really doesn't hurt plants. You can see, I mean, I've sprayed it all around. Just rinse your plants off. But you can see the difference. Now, this is, tw this is less than 24 hours later. Now, I still have a little bit where we're down to the quarters over here where it was real, real heavy. Maybe I didn't get a good enough treatment in there. But, man, look at, look at, look at the results of that. That's just... That's pretty amazing there. Again, 24 hours later, just using um, probably a 5 to 1 ratio of the 30 second cleaner. If I had gone stronger, it probably would have cleaned even more. But now what I can do is if I wanted to come by real quickly with a power washer, just real quickly, just pressure wash this, stain it, and it's going to be good. And that's what I'm going to do this year. And yes, I will put it on video this year. Now we use 30 second cleaner on this fence over here last year to clean it. Then we pressure washed it and then I stained it. And uh, I'm gonna show you what it looks like after a year now. So let me go over here and show you what that fence looks like. Oh, and by the way, 
If you're like your, my neighbors that ask me, Doc, how come your grass is so green so early in the year? <laughs> Linda, how, why is our grass so green? It's because we use super juice. We spray super juice on early spring and we get lots of little green haze coming up. Look at that, green haze everywhere. Everyone else's grass is still brown. Well, let's go out to the back here. What are you doing? Are you smelling? Well, that's a good breeze to smell. You hear people going by. All right, I'm gonna be right back. Oh man, this place is a mess. I gotta clean this up. <laughs> You can see, I'm gonna kill my wife. She throws all the dead plants over the fence. Oh, they're gone now. No, they're not, honey. Anyways, what I want you to look at is this is this old section of fence. Now we did a bunch of testing on here with 30 second cleaner, then we do power, then we power washed it, and uh, then I stained it. And this is over a year later. Now this is, now don't forget, see where the sun is? So this basically gets shade all day long. And they get a lot of green mold and mildew on this side. But you can see what that fence looks like. The fence looks really good all the way down. But this is just one side of my fence over here. Again, this is an old, old fence. But I want you to look, see if you can see how good that looks. I mean, that really looks good for being, gosh, I'm guessing this fence is probably what, eight years old at least? So, uh, after, after almost a year of being back here in this shade, there's not an ounce of algae back here because it's been cleaned, again, sprayed with 30 second cleaner, pressure wash, and then stained, and the fence looks really good. Again, this fence is old. I'm saying it's at least, I would say, I'm guessing this fence is probably at least eight years old. And uh, not a very good job of installing it, but, but that shows you what just doing the basic stuff the right way will do for you. All right, so here's an important here's an important note. A lot of people say, why don't you use bleach or cleaner on your doing your driveway? Well, number one, it's illegal. If you look at the Clean Water Act, any human-made discharge that goes into the street, it enters into the sewage system anywhere. So if you have water run out of your driveway and it runs down the road and it goes into any kind of septic sewer system that's a public whatever, it's illegal. <clears throat> Typically, if you get caught doing that, just letting water run in, you're gonna get a ticket, you can get a fine for a couple hundred bucks. If you're using a chemical, if you're using something like a bleach or if you're using cleaners, now you can get up into the thousands of dollars because now you've added chemicals that are now running down it. I'm going to do a video this uh, this season. Next time I pressure wash, I'm going to do a video and show you how to avoid those fines. Uh, I've got a little system that I came up with that'll cost you probably about 30 or 40 bucks that helps you avoid any kind of those fines. It's the same thing with washing your car, believe it or not. If you wash your car and let that water run down into the sewage system, it's against the law. It's the Clean Water Act. Any man-made discharge cannot go into a public drainage system. I know. Uh, so what you want to do is make sure you click that subscribe button because when I do that pressure washing video here in a few weeks, I'm going to show you that new little system I've got. It's really, it's really pretty cool. Okay, so just to summarize real quick, this is um, Home Armor makes a house wash. This is actually a patio and deck we were testing, but Home Armor makes a, a house and siding wash. And we use that on the siding and I really like that stuff. It works really well. This is the this is the wrong nozzle on this bottle, by the way. Because what I do is I steal this, I steal the home armor nozzle, which is a better nozzle, and put it on the 30 second. So what you can do is just buy yourself, you can go to Lowe's, uh, I know they have it at Lowe's, maybe at Home Depot. Buy a bottle of that home armor. Um, house and deck wash or whatever they call it that has this little nozzle because it has several options plus a separate on off rinse it's a really good and save this nozzle that nozzle is worth the money get save that nozzle and i put that on here or of course what you can do is just now you can just take 
you can just take the gallons of the 30 second cleaner and put it in there. Now people have asked, can I use it in a tank sprayer? Sure, you can do it at a two to one ratio, water to 30 second and just tank spray, leave it on there and then rinse it off. You can do it in a tank sprayer too. <laughs> Don't forget too, if you haven't gotten your super juice, super juice, uh, there's a whole bunch of, done a whole bunch of videos on web pages on this. This is the dry mix, dry fertilizer mix. You mix up the water, spray it on your lawn, get the super juice and use it, especially in the springtime to give you a little bit of a start head start on your lawn. So that's basically it guys, those are the products I was using. If you look in the description, I'll put a link to a page down below that has some of the stuff listed on, not all of it, some of the stuff will be listed there. And don't forget to subscribe because uh, we got a whole bunch of product videos coming out, fertilizer videos, the new granular fertilizers, plus the power washing videos, a whole bunch of stuff like that, and staining videos, click subscribe and uh, I'll talk to you later. I'm gonna go inside, duck. Thank you.